there's some debate right now in the medical community. They think in general that droplets are probably the larger source of transmission. And that's important because droplets tend to fall to the ground because they're heavier. Heavier compared to aerosols, which Dr. Melan Hahn, a pulmonary specialist at the University of Michigan, explains are smaller particles that hang in the air a bit longer, and she says could be carried by air conditioning currents. There was actually a, a study that looked at uh, transmission of virus in China, and in particular, they looked at who in the, in the restaurant got infected, and it looked like it might be in the air conditioner path. So the one thing that we, we know for a certainty about disease transmission is that generally it's more likely indoors for, for a number of reasons. One of them, the main one, is that contaminants that are generated indoors can concentrate. Professor William Bonfleth, who chairs the American Society of Heating, Refrigerating, and Air Conditioning Engineers Task Force, says there are many air conditioning systems that only heat and cool the inside of a building and fail to bring in fresh outside air. So he says it's important to know whether the building is well ventilated. In some cases, uh, air conditioning can be a risk factor, but it usually isn't. Uh, if a building is properly ventilated, has a good supply of outside air, and it has good air filtration, then the uh, risk of aerosol transmission at, at a distance from an infected person is probably pretty low. But Dr. Hahn says if there's a group of people, nothing beats being outdoors. So things get diluted much more quickly and they're sort of random air currents. The other thing about being outdoors is that there's sunlight. Uh, and we actually think that light, in particular UV light, can actually potentially kill the virus. And Dr. Hahn and Professor Bonfleth both say that social distancing Distancing is key, as well as wearing a mask, of course, when you're not eating or drinking. They say if that's not part of the conversation, then we don't need to be talking about air conditioning. Now, uh, the professor also says to make sure that there is enough fresh air circulating, as we talked about, ventilation, and to upgrade any air conditioning filters. This morning, I'm reporting live. Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.